Why does a webcam always need to be above a screen? It doesn't. As you can see in this photo, the setup I'm using to do this video is where the webcam is in between two screens. I've got my laptop screen on the right hand side and I've got my external screen on the left hand side. And this isn't a high res external screen, it's just an old screen that I'm using just for this video. And I've got a Zoom meeting running, as you can see, and what I'm going to demonstrate for you is how you can uh, use this setup to be able to talk to your audience because you're able to look at the webcam and you can just glance to the side, to either side, to see what's on the screens if you need to when you're presenting and you're not looking up to the webcam and then down to your screen and up to your webcam and down to your screen. It's much nicer for your audience. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can use presenter view and you can use it with the Zoom video and the chat in Zoom all just using this setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I've got my uh, PowerPoint presentation here. I have my in slideshow ribbon. I've set the monitor to be the monitor on the left, not my laptop screen. That's what I'm going to use for my notes. And then I said use presenter view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put it into presenter view from the beginning. And what happens is that on my laptop screen, I have my presenter view and on the other screen, I have the slides that are going to be sent to the audience. What I'm going to do though, is take presenter view out of full screen mode. So in windows, we can take it out of full screen mode and then make it smaller by adjusting the window size. So I can adjust the window size, which makes it much easier for me to control. Now I can make this as big or as small as I want it to be. I can make the font bigger. If I don't really need to see the slides all that big because I've got them over there on that screen, I can make them quite a bit smaller. Now in Zoom, what I can do is, is I can go ahead and share that full screen, screen number two, which just has the slides. So now the audience is just seeing the slides in Zoom. Because I'm using dual screen mode in Zoom, I have the videos here separately, so I can see those. In the Zoom controls, I can also say, show me the chat, and I've popped the chat out already. So I can put that on my screen, make that large so I can see what people are talking about in the chat. And now I've solved one of the big issues that people keep telling me. I'm just going to make the presenter view a little wider here. One of the big issues that people tell me is, is I want to see the videos, I want to see my chat, I want to see my notes, but I want to share the slides. Well, typically I've said you need three screens and that's probably the best way to do it because uh, sometimes these notes can be a little, little small. But in presenter view now, what I can do is I can go ahead and deliver the presentation. So I'm able to look directly at the webcam. And then as I go through my slides, I can say, okay, there are five steps in the process for uh, taking your virtual presentations to the next level. Step number one is that you need to discover what is possible. So I can look at my notes on my laptop screen, or I can take a glance at the large slide there, but you don't see my head really moving up or down. I'm just glancing side to side with my eyes. And because in Zoom, the video of me is so small up in the attendees view, you don't really see that much. So I can glance over, talk about my next item, bring the next item on, glance over, and I'm able to focus on delivering it directly to the webcam. This is a much better experience for your audience. The audience wants to see you looking at them, not looking somewhere else as you deliver the presentation. So that's how you can use this setup where we have the two screens. When you're done, simply stop sharing in uh, Zoom. And in presenter view, of course, I can go ahead and exit presenter view. And the chat, if I'm done with the chat in Zoom, I can close that as well. So it allows me to deliver directly to the webcam because the webcam is not above a screen and I can't look at the second screen without, you know, turning my head to look way over there. It's in between the two screens. So consider that sort of a setup when you're delivering your presentations, whether you're using presenter view or not, it gives you the option to use two screens, give yourself flexibility and starts you taking your presentations to that next level. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel.
check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.